that probably costs how much? What in the? Why? You guys, I'm really excited for this. <laughs> I'm excited for this video. And yeah, let's just jump into it. Hey guys, I'm Christina Sheree. Welcome to my channel. If you're new, hello. And if you're returning, it's really always good to see you. So you know what you guys, today I just really wanted to come up with a list of products. If you're going to invest your money in Pat McGrath, where should you spend it? Because Pat McGrath is a luxury brand and she's pricey. She's worth it, but she's pricey. So I have a list of products here that I really think are the must-haves for Pat McGrath. So I'm going to go through those. I should probably move over because I'm going to do a little B-roll of me applying some of the products probably right here somewhere. Okay, so the first must-have product from Pat McGrath that I think is absolutely worth the money is her concealer. So you guys are going to have to bear with me because she has some names and descriptions for all of her products. Yeah, it's kind of a trip. But anyway, I'm going to roll some, put some B-roll right here um, with me applying it. So first let me start off by saying I have neutral undertones so I can wear both cool, well it's neutral golden so I usually get two colors. One is usually neutral and then the other one is golden because one is a bit cooler and one is a bit warmer. So you'll see two of everything for the base products because I mix them together but in this uh, film that you see right now what I'm using is concealer uh, shade number 21, which is a bit light, but what I find is that one, you can sheer it out, and two, I like the way it looks because I kind of do my stuff backwards. I'll do the concealer first, it's called underpainting. I'll do the concealer first and then I'll put the foundation on top because I just think it gives you a smoother look. Um, but back to this concealer. So this concealer is just kind of everything. It's not, well, let me just start off with this. It's $34. So you know, it's a pricey thing, especially for something that you're going to wear a lot. Um, but the thing about this one is that it's called Skin Fetish Sublime Perfection Concealer, and it comes in 36 colors. So you guys, I mix 21 and 23 together. I'll show you here. So this is 21, which is definitely neutral, and it's a bit, it's quite a bit lighter. And then the other one is 23, and this one you'll see is much warmer. Let me see if I can line this up so I mix these two together this gives me like the perfect shade for me but the thing that I love the most about this concealer and while I'm recommending it yes you can make it full coverage but you can also sheer it down um, it gives you this kind of velvet full coverage but it's still lightweight it's creamy you don't feel like you're under eyes are way down it just and it lasts I have a trick you'll see me if I'm still rolling it or showing the clip here. Uh, there's a trick that you can use with your powder to actually kind of minimize the creasing, but I think it definitely starts with a great concealer, and this I absolutely recommend. If you're looking for another concealer, um, do not bypass this one. It kind of broke the interwebs, YouTubes when it came out. It's just, it's absolutely worth the money, worth the investment. Another thing that you'll see me doing um, a little bit later is I'm applying another concealer as kind of a uh, contour. So you can do that too. I'll talk a little bit about that uh, in the next clip. Okay, so the next product I think that you really should look at when it comes to Pat McGrath is for foundation. It is so wonderful. So I just started wearing foundation this year. Um, I don't really mind blemishes showing through, things like that, but I kind of wanted to sort of up my makeup game and just kind of see and one of the first few foundations I got was a Pat McGrath amongst a few others but if you're looking at a really excellent luxury foundation you have to check this one out it's called the let me actually get the name for it skin fetish sublime perfection foundation it comes in 36 shades you'll see me uh, applying it on my face now it's medium buildable coverage a satin finish 12 hour wear Weightless, it's self-setting, which actually it is, <laughs> um, and non-comogenic. Yeah, that's a, let me say that one faster. <laughs> um, but again, this one is, 
for someone who doesn't has never really worn foundation and this to be one of my first introductions I love it I don't feel like my skin is cakey it doesn't feel heavy it still has a glow to it um, I really really enjoy this foundation uh, I'm looking for the price for you guys right now it's on sale for $41 so by the time this actually I upload this it's on sale but I think it retails for 68 so it's not a cheap concealer none of these things here are really cheap it's a luxury brand but I would definitely say if you are looking for a concealer that you don't necessarily wear every single day because if you do it's gonna get kind of pricey um, but one that you may wear routinely um, or just for that special occasion this is a beautiful foundation so I have again you guys I mix colors it's that neutral golden skin um, my skin tone is neutral golden so I have 21 and I have 19 so I mix these two together and you'll see me mixing it in the b-roll of this and I just can't say enough wonderful things about this foundation I think it's absolutely beautiful worth the money beautiful shade range and mine has lasted me a long time uh, but again I think it's you want to look at what kind of coverage you want, what your undertones are, if you're getting one, if you have to get two to blend it. Um, you also want to look at is it sustainable? Like, are you going to want to be are you using foundation a lot where $68 a pop is just going to kind of add up? Um, but kind of make that decision yourself. But I definitely think that this is one of those products that is absolutely worth it. So for this, I actually use, con for the contour, I actually use one of her concealers. And I used a deeper shade, so it's D33 this one here well you'll see me put it on my face uh, probably right next to me you'll probably see I put a little bit too much it's definitely pigmented but this is one way that you can get a lot more kind of mileage out of her products and this is such a beautiful way to conceal too it has the same luminosity and the glow of the concealer so it kind of just makes your face look very cohesive if that's a good way of putting it but yeah I use this as my contour alright you guys so let's talk about her claim to fame the mothership palettes they're a beauty are they worth your money though um, I would say yes they are um, I'm gonna go through four different palettes that uh, and the reasons that I would suggest those but I definitely do believe that a mothership palette which is 128 bucks is worth it palettes. it is definitely a price tag but what you're getting different formulas her special shades are what she's known for like those things the last four in a palette I'll show you them um, they're usually a big formula they have a high shine just gorgeous uh, her colors tend to be it was quite hard for me to find the best neutral mothership palette to recommend so none of these are really neutral per se but if you're looking for a palette where you're going to get incredible color range that actually has some color in there nice different formulas you're going to get a little sparkle in there some pigmentation with the mattes um, the color curation of her palettes we'll get into kind of how they went to a little pink range but for the most part it's very creative um, so this would be, I would recommend, one of the Mothership palettes, not necessarily as your sole palette, the only palette that you have. Um, I would absolutely recommend this to add to your collection, to add something that is different. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you the four that I think would I would, I would absolutely recommend them for different reasons. Um, so the first one is this, sorry I have to read it here, Mothership Six Moon ah, Mothership Six Midnight Sun. It's this pretty box here. I keep my boxes because they're absolutely a work of art. Um, I think if you're looking for a palette that's the closest to a neutral palette via Pat McGrath, this would be the one that I would suggest. So this one here. Let me turn it this way. Um, I love this one because you definitely are getting some deeper colors here. You have a nice little, I call it rust here, if you're looking for a neutral look. Uh, this one here is pretty standard. Also, this here is beautiful. You see that on my... And then these are her special shades. These are the ones that I had. I told you have kind of the high shine and just glorious. And then also too, oh, we forgot how to do this. <laughs> you have the green here. 
So this palette, this Midnight Sun palette, I would say is the closest to a neutral palette that you're going to get from Pat McGrath. And if that's your, that's your jam, like you like those colors, you feel like to get your money's worth, you would use those more often than, than not, then I would absolutely suggest that. Um, the next Mothership palette that I would absolutely recommend, now this is with an asterisk here. I personally love pink really love pink so I don't mind pinks mauves all those colors uh, she kind of after this palette this divine rose one palette here she sort of went on this like pink journey so there's lots of pinks in all of her palettes but so if you like a pink palette you like a pink color story I'm going to show you this here then this one it's a bit more subdued it's not as kind of in your face pink divine rose two is definitely more in your face pink this one I would say is uh, make sure you can see it is a good introduction to pinks with a little bit of flavor here so you've got your standard kind of brown which is a good trans well it's a good deepening up shade so this one here um, this one is nice mauvey it's so pretty on it looks a little well, no, it doesn't look so deep on my finger so there's that one this one here is absolutely stunning see that one there another one that I love here too is oh this palette is just beautiful this one here gorgeous on the eye. Let me kind of sh do one of these special shades here. There you go. That's a bit of a flip. But this is a perfect palette if you, again, you love those colors. Uh, you want to try Pat McGrath's formula. And it, it's still, a, it's kind of a bit neutral, pink neutral, but not as neutral as I would say Midnight Sun is. And definitely not as neutral as kind of an all brown, your typical neutral palette. That would be good. The next one that I would suggest, and this was actually my first Pat McGrath palette. I love this one. So this one I would suggest if you like a bit more of a smoky eye, you like some kind of richer tones. This one is like my fall palette. Actually, I use it all the time, but it's definitely good for fall. So this is the Mothership 5 bon Bronze Seduction. So this is the carton if you're looking for it. Um, and this is the palette here. As you can see, the colors definitely get deeper here. This Aubergine, I'm not sure the name of it. I'll put it on the screen oh my goodness this one on the eye is so beautiful but as you can already see just by looking at this you're gonna get a deeper look with this for sure you get beautiful smoky eyes with this one this red absolutely gorgeous this bronze here is beautiful this one here what other one do I want to show you guys? Oh, she typically has a lighter shade so that you can use it as kind of like an inner corner um, brow bone highlight. Uh, but this one, I absolutely love this one too. I love all of these truthfully, but I'm kind of trying to give you different ways that you can use these and who I think they're for. Um, just out the gate, I mean, you can anybody can buy them, right? And use them if that's your thing. Um, but I definitely would suggest those three. Let me open it up here. This is the Mothership 10 Moonlit Seduction Palette. This is such a gorgeous carton. I have to be honest, you guys. I wasn't sure that I was going to pick this one up because it didn't, from her promo picks, it didn't really kind of jump out at me. I was like, oh, that's okay. It's nice. One of the things about Palmograph, two things about her, uh, her brand, is that the Promo picks are heavily filtered, so it's a little bit hard to see like the true color of things. Um, and then too, I should have mentioned this in the beginning. The Pamograph palettes, they're definitely, you know, a price tag. Um, but if you wait, she actually has incredible sales. Like she'll have 40% off palettes. Like it's just crazy good. So this one is Moonlit Seduction, and I've kind of had this for a little while now since it came out and this actually is becoming one of my favorite palettes now this palette I would say if you like shimmer you like blinging on your eyes a little bit you like the ethereal look you like something that's just kind of give you a different sort of pop um, beautiful beautiful palette absolutely gorgeous this is where she kind of has these two colors throughout since Divine Rose 1, you're definitely going to see these two variations of these two in her palettes. Um, but this duochrome here is gorgeous. Can you see that? Absolutely beautiful. And this one is the one that I used on my eye today. Stunning. It is so just beautiful. Like, I love it. Um, but yeah, so those are the four palettes that I would suggest that you 
really consider, and for those reasons, dad your eyes. eyes. So this is her, oh sorry, intensifies artistry wand. So basically what this is here is, it's like a really convenient glitter glue, but without the glitter glue part. <laughs> you can put it over shadow, you can put it over uh, a shimmer or a metallic anyway, and it's just going to amp it up. It's going to amp it up and it's going to help it stick to your eye even better. So if it's kind of a flakier formula, you put this on first, it'll stick much better and it actually will intensify the color too. So this is, uh, this is one of those things that if you like the convenience of it in a stick, I would suggest you get this one too. Um, I'll put the price uh, down in the description box because I actually don't have that right at this particular moment. <laughs> But it's something that I suggest that you pick up from Pavograph, especially with her formulas too. Like most of the time they don't just fall all over your face, but to get the kind of full power of those special shades or her shimmers, get that and it's just going to amp it up even more. The next product I suggest that you uh, pick up from Pavograph is her Dark Star Mascara. Now, bear with me. This is, as you can see in the demo, one coat and my lashes were really good to go. Same with the bottom, I didn't show me filming the bottom, but so it gives you what you need right away. So for that, I think it's worth it. Um, there are other mascaras that you could spend a little bit less and they will probably do the same thing, but this one is just, I like the instant gratis gratification of like my lashes being there. You have to be careful with this one because it does it can flake a little bit or it can kind of transfer. I don't know if it's user error or what, but that's what I found with this one. So I like this one. It's not my favorite, but I definitely like it. And if you're looking for a mascara, I would say try it out. You're not going to be disappointed in what you get right away. Uh, but I'm picky with mascara, so. There you so go. when Pat dropped this, everybody about lost their mind because everyone's been asking for a blush product from her for, I guess, eons. <laughs> So she dropped some other blushes, some single blushes, um, and then she dropped these. These are the, what are these called? The um, Divine Blush Duos. So this you get two blush shades in one. And this is honestly what I would recommend because you're getting two in one. Uh, it's slightly more than the others, but you get to try out two different colors from her. Her blush formula is beautiful. It's pigmented. It lasts all day. For me, it lasts all day. I just kind of put a little translucent powder over it sometimes. Um, but it's long lasting, it's pigmented, and she has a really nice range of colors. Pat McGrath loves pink, I love pink so I'm not complaining, but if you'll look at her blushes you'll notice a lot of them are the pink range. Um, I have three different here that I think would kind of fit different scenarios or different looks you're going for that you can maybe kind of think about with her. So the first one is this, what is this called, sorry I gotta look down, Paradise Glow. Um, Let's see here. This gives you a kind of a redder terracotta and then this nice little brown here. I use this color blush, just this general color blush, if I want kind of a flush on the cheeks, but I don't want any real color. If I'm doing a smoky eye, it's great. If you just want to put something on, maybe kind of a dub as like a bronzer. This is really wonderful. I would say with her brush blushes, brushes, I would say with her blushes that you want to go in with a light hand first and build them up because they are super pigmented. So this is Paradise Glow, so for a more neutral or a dub as a bronzer look, I'd absolutely suggest that one. This next one is Cosmic Coral. So this color here looks sort of similar to the other one. It's a warm color, but this cool coral color is wonderful. I use it when I'm using kind of a peachier look or something that is just a bit fresh, fresher and just kind of a I don't like a lot of blush on my cheek. I like it a little bit more natural, so I kind of will put this on if I want that type of look. Uh, but this is a beautiful one here. And then the one that I actually have on my, my face in the demo here is this one is called Divine Rose 2. So this is your pinks. Straight up, your pinks. There you go. I love this one. <laughs> I've used this color here because I wanted you to see it on film. Um, but I generally kind of use this one just for a light wash of color. You can mix the two and kind of get a different color. But I would suggest really thinking of these three. First of all, try her Divine Blush Duo because you get two in one. And then hopefully the suggestions that I gave you as far as colors would really kind of give you an idea of which one may be better for you. So this one, 
it's just really pretty you guys it's like really really pretty <laughs> do I think you need to spend this much money on a highlighter no but it's really pretty like I mean I love it so this particular color is Venus Nectar it's her highlighter um, and this is the tone right here the thing I love the most about her highlighters is the formula just melts into your skin it gives you she has some that are a bit more kind of cosmic but this one I would say is a beautiful one that'll give you that glow it'll give you a nice highlight maybe a sun kiss look depending on the the color that you get but this for me I just I love it I love the way it blends into my skin I love it this specific color for my skin tone that's one of the things I'll say about her highlighters is that she does have a few different ones that will complement a range of skin tones um, and you can even get creative with them some of her highlighters are like she has a gold one that I have that is just sort of I don't know when I'm really gonna wear a gold but it's just different um, and then like a platinum one too but uh, do I think you need to spend any of that much again? No. Is it worth it if you buy it? Yes. It's really pretty. Like, really pretty. Alright, so the last category I have that I would suggest you absolutely really invest in with Pomegranate is the lips. Now, I do have, I do have quite a few of her lipsticks, and they're good. I mean, the formula is really nice. It's not anything bad with it if you want to try it out, absolutely. Um, but I just didn't put it in this video because I think that there are other brands that are on par, if not even a little bit better, in a range of prices. So I don't necessarily think you need to run out and buy Pat McGrath's um, lipsticks. But her glosses, there's some magic sauce, secret sauce she puts in these things. They are just, they make your lips look so juicy and pretty and plump and like, magic I'm putting a lot on it but I just really like them <laughs> that and then also her lip liners her lip liners are smooth they don't tug they fill in you'll see it in the um, filming or the you know right there on the screen um, so I'm going to show you two different combinations um, of lip liner and glosses the first one here is her permagel ultra lip pencil in the color ground control so let me put that here a nice little brown nothing super special um oh sorry this one's ground control this is what it looks like and then the gloss that I think works really beautiful with that is called flush astral lust gloss it's a lip gloss here this one is just so sorry here's the gloss and this color here it is a beautiful nude neutral you can wear this combination together, wear it alone. It's just so gorgeous. And then the one that I'm wearing uh, in the video here, same pencil as far as Permagel Ultra Lip Pencil, but this is the color Suburbia. So, there we go. Suburbia. And then I pair it with one of my absolute favorite glosses of hers. And this one, it's just, you guys, it's so tiny. Freaking hard to read that. I feel like I'm going blind. Uh, this one's called Bronze Temptation. Her lip gloss. Let me show you. That's Bronze Temptation. So stunning. Again, it's like that secret sauce magic on your lips. <laughs> I absolutely love these. And she has a range of them. So I would for sure suggest uh, picking up one of those too. Alright you guys, so I think I've gone through everything that I would really highly suggest and giving you some options. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I can't talk. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys. Um, I love Pat McGrath. I really do. She is worth the hype. Another product that I would suggest that I didn't put in this are her quads. I didn't put in some of them because you can't still get them, but she usually comes out with quads during the holiday. She comes out with a mega palette like this one here. Um, usually during the holiday too. Uh, and again, with Pat McGrath, she has wonderful sales. So if you see something that you like, she's guaranteed to have a sale at least a couple times a year. Um, and then also you can do the Sephora Rouge event um, if you're on that too, but her sales tend to be better. 
All right, you guys, so I enjoyed making this video. If you like it, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up and comment down below. Like, do you like these products? Is there something else that you would suggest as well? Like, I love to talk to you guys in the comments. And yeah, please don't forget to subscribe if you like my content. And I hope you have a good day. Whatever time it is for you, morning, noon, or night, thank you for giving me some of it.